Hi, and welcome to Day 41, Nonfiction Text Connection. Again, we're going to be looking at author's purpose. So we're going to be doing an overview first, which is a review of the author's purpose. We're going to read this week's text, do an analysis, and then finally our daily task. The greatest thing by far is to be a master of metaphor. It is the one thing that cannot be learned from others and is also a sign of genius. Today's article has to do with metaphors in songs. So let's do a quick review of author's purpose. What is author's purpose? Author's purpose is the reason why the text was written. So why does an author write? The first reason an author might write is to persuade. It's the author's goal to persuade the reader to agree with the author's opinion. We saw this last week. Even though the author shares his opinion, he may provide facts or examples to support that opinion. For example, advertisements, commercials, newspaper, editorials, etc. Another reason and a more common reason why an author writes is to inform. It's the author's goal to enlighten the reader with topics that are usually real or contain facts. Facts are used to teach, not to persuade. For example, textbooks, cookbooks, newspapers, encyclopedias, etc. And finally, to entertain. It is the author's goal to tell a story or describe real or imaginary characters, places, and events. Examples, poems, stories, plays, etc. So let's go ahead and read the article and we'll annotate for author's purpose. We're looking to see whether this article is meant to persuade, inform, or entertain. Finding metaphors in hit songs and poems. Poems and songs often use metaphors. A metaphor makes a comparison between two things. At first, things may seem to have nothing in common. For example, he is such a pig is a metaphor. You might hear someone say that about a person who eats too much. I'm gonna go ahead and underline poems and songs often use metaphors because it speaks to the main idea of this text. Metaphors are close to similes. The difference is that similes use words such as like or and as. She eats like a bird is an example of a simile. Take a look at the lyrics from Michael Jackson's song, Human Nature. It has this line. If this town is just an apple, then let me take a bite. In these lyrics, the apple Jackson is talking about is New York City. This is because New York City is also called the Big Apple. Metaphors can be used anywhere in a song. In Your Love is a Song by Switchfoot, even the title is a metaphor. Love is compared to music in the lyrics, too. Oh, your love is a symphony all around me, running through me. Oh, your love is a melody underneath me, running to me. Writers have often compared love to beautiful things. The Scottish poet Robert Burns did this about 300 years ago. He compared the woman he loved to, a, to both a rose and a song. Oh, my love's like a red, red rose that's newly sprung in June. Oh, my love's like the melody that's sweetly played in tune. Music can help us learn about metaphors and similes. Here is a list of famous songs that have metaphors. Can't Stop the Feeling, Justin Timberlake. In the song, Can't Stop the Feeling, Justin Timberlake sings, I got that sunshine in my pocket, got that good soul in my feet. The sunshine in the pocket is the singer's happiness when he sees his girlfriend dance. He's also using a play on words with the word soul. Soul is a type of music. It also sounds like soul, the bottom of a foot. In art and writing, the sun is often used to talk about feelings. The American poet E.E. E. Cummings used the sun to talk about his feelings of love. Yours is the light by which my spirit's born. You are my sun, my moon, and all my stars. So, if the main idea of this text was that poem and songs often use metaphors, we could support that by an example of a common metaphor, which would be the sun. That's why that is underlined in blue. One Thing, One Direction. The song One Thing by One Direction has three lines. Shot me out of the sky, you are my kryptonite, make me, make me, you keep making me weak, yeah, frozen and can't breathe. Superman comic books have been around for 80 years. Superman is very strong, but he has one weakness. He becomes weak when he's near a rock called kryptonite. Kryptonite does not exist in the real world, but it is used as a metaphor to talk about a person's weakness. My Heart's a Stereo, Maroon 5. The title of My Heart's a Stereo by Maroon 5 is a metaphor. My Heart's a Stereo 
it beats for you, so listen close. The idea of a beating heart is popular in literature, but it doesn't always mean love and romance. Edgar Allan Poe's story, The Telltale Heart, is one example. It talks about a man who hears the heartbeat of someone he killed. The heartbeat grows louder and louder until the man can't stand it anymore. In the end, he tells the police what he did. Naturally, Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez's song Naturally includes the following lyrics. You are the thunder and I am the lightning. And I love the way you know who you are. And to me, it's exciting when you know it's meant to be. This may be a pop song, but it harkens back to ancient Norse and Viking mythology, where the name of its main god, Thor, literally means thunder. Thor's main weapon was his hammer. It was called Mjolnir in the Old Norse language. That translates as lightning. This is what you came for, Rihanna, lyrics by Calvin Harris. The metaphor of lightning is used in this is what you came for. In the song, a woman is described as having power like the force of lightning. She gets everyone's attention. Baby, this is what you came for. Lightning strikes every time she moves and everybody's watching her. Lightning also stands for power. The American poet Emma Lazarus wrote about it in The New Colossus. Here at our sea-washed sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch whose flame is the imprisoned lightning and her name mother of exiles. The woman with the torch is the Statue of Liberty. This lightning torch stands for her power as a friend to anyone who comes to America. Sit still, look pretty, Daya. This next song is by Daya. She sings about not being a puppet. She says she does not want someone to pull her strings. This means she does not want someone to control her. She also uses a metaphor when she calls herself a queen. She does not want to be ruled by a king. I know the other girlies want to wear expensive things like diamond rings, but I don't want to be the puppet that you're playing on a string. This queen don't need a king. Holy, Florida Georgia Line. The song Holy by Florida Georgia Line talks about angels, but this is not a religious song. The singer talks about having a strong belief in his lover. It is not as strong as a belief in religion. You're an angel. Tell me you're never leaving because you're the first thing I know I can believe in. Adventure of a Lifetime, Coldplay. Coldplay's Adventure of a Lifetime uses a metaphor too. Turn your magic on. To me, she'd say everything you want to dream away. Under this pressure, under this weight, we are diamonds. Here the singer compares a relationship to how diamonds are made. Diamonds form under strong pressure below the earth. Cold players saying that the pressure of a relationship can lead to good things. It will lead to something as precious as diamonds. One, U2. In U2 song one, the band sings about love and forgiveness. The song has the lines, love is a temple, love a higher law, love and law have an interesting connection. In the Middle Ages, the word love was thought to be equal to law. Love was also a metaphor for exchange. In other words, love meant giving while getting as much back. So I'm going to go ahead and put a box around the paragraph. Here the singer compares a relationship to how diamonds are made because that's going to support the main idea of the text. So your daily task is to fill out this graphic organizer today. Um, after you read the article and annotate the main idea. So you decide whether the author's purpose is to persuade, inform, or entertain, and then provide evidence from the text to support your choice. Um, you can use one of the annotations that I provided you if you did them along with me. Also, how does the author feel about the topic? So obviously the topic of this article is metaphor. So how does the author feel about metaphor specifically in songs? and then provide evidence from the text to support it. All right, thank you very much, have a nice night.